Uh, Nick, I actually changed my mind three times here. Empoli, <laughs> plus 142. Frosinone, plus 215. The under or over was set at two and a half, so I went straight over, minus 106. I'm like, okay, I've, I've got to go with both teams to score an over. So then I'm going to get like plus 118. The draw is a runner at plus 227. Do Empoli score twice at plus 120? But then do Frosinone score twice? At plus 170, it was one of them where I had to throw the uh, balls in the air and just see which way it landed. I uh, highly agree with you here. I've kind of have gone back and forth as well as what to predict. What, what, what's not undisputable here is how important this match is, right? It's a classic six-pointer. you got two teams tied, 31 points, two, te- two points above Udinese, who's sitting in that final relegation spot. So very, very important match here at the bottom. Frosinone, we've actually previewed a lot of their matches in the last several weeks. They're often, you know, we always kind of look at them as the the goal the goal team, the bet the overs, bet the both teams to score, that kind of thing. Obviously, their defense is very, very leaky. They've been involved in plenty of high-scoring matches. They had that quick start at the beginning of the season, one loss in, in their first six. Then they proceeded to suck <laughs> over their next 24 games. They only had four <laughs> wins, combined ridiculous they did a lot 56 goals over their next 24 matches, which is just ridiculous to me. Um, over the last five though, I don't know what's going on. They're unbeaten. They've only conceded three goals. They've kept three clean sheets. So that whatever they've changed, whatever they've done, whatever the mentality that they're going with obviously is working. It's keeping them above that line. Why would they want to change that now? Do you think they're going to kind of come up here with a little bit of a, a safer, cautious, slower paced approach And Empoli, That's what they've been doing, right? They kind of play like that all the time. They, they keep a lot of clean sheets. Um, it's not necessarily that they keep them. It's just one of the teams in the game keeps them. Usually it's because Empoli is the one not scoring. I think they've failed to score in five of their last seven now. Uh, and they kept one clean sheet. So six out of their last seven, has been both teams to score no. There's a lot of reasons here. Typically, Frozen Only, I'm just like, over, over. I hit it, don't even think about it. But in this particular one, with as important as it is, and the way that Empoli do tend to play, and because of what's been working with the Frozen Only, I kind of think this might be a little bit slower, a little bit safer. Uh, mm. I don't think a draw is a bad result for either side here. So I, I actually look at maybe the under, or maybe both teams to score no as viable wow. options. Wow. Uh, That's a great uh, shot, actually. Both teams well, we'll see if it's a great shot, if it's official. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Well, I, well, listen, again, if it's hot air and he's not actually got a selection <laughs> and it goes against mine, it's not a great shot at all, Mina. Sure. Have you got a selection oh, in this, Mina? Why? What's your, what's your, I do have a selection in this one. What's... Well, I had six selections in this game, uh, and none of them were both teams to score no. I started with both teams to score an over. I went with over two and a half. I went with Empoli to win. I went with Frosinone... Uh, Draw no bet. I went with Frosinone double oh, chance. Oh, wow, that's bad, huh? Uh, I, 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 I was mixed that's up. Um, well, yeah, don't start. But yes, I was. Gosh. I was a bit. Frosinone bit... is like that woman that just gets into your head and you can't. You know, you don't know which way to go. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm in agreement with uh, Dell, um, who said that you know I, it, it could be an Empoli win. It could well be an Empoli win or double chance is a great shot. But I don't think there's going to be a lot of value on double chance oh. because everyone foresees a draw in this match. I think if anyone's going to win it, it is going to be Empoli. They've won their last two home matches. Um, they are stronger at home than they have have been away, although they did lose to Cagliari and Bologna. So it's a bit topsy-turvy with Davide Nicola's side. But recently, I think the way that they've been playing, I think their performance against Napoli gave them the confidence to feel that if they, if they suffer for the result, they'll get there in the end. Frosinone, they've been getting a lot of draws recently. Single-handedly, this is the worst team away from home. This is honestly has been the worst team away from home. I mean, I say this every single week. This is always, I look for this all the time. Whenever Frosinone are playing away from home, I go for this because you just know that they're going to be awful. Um, but they've, they've been getting a lot of points. They got a great victory last week. So I do think they're going to play for the draw in this match, which means they're going to line up defensively here. So this is going to probably be, a well, most likely going to be an under two and a half, in my opinion. I don't see a lot of goals in this. Usually I would have said that for sure with Frosinone's defense, but I think they're going to come and realize that they're away from home. Recently, they've been taking a more pragmatic match, uh, a pragmatic approach in their away matches. So I think they're going to somewhat try to be as defensive as possible and see what Empoli can do. Empoli may have a goal in them. Uh, so, like I said, I think if there's a team that's going to win, I think it would be them right now. Um, they they work really hard, whether it's Berinsky, B- Bazinski or Cherry. I think they've got a, a good shout up there. But, like, they're a hard-working team. 
they can get a goal. So at most, I would say it's an Empoli 1-0 victory. Um, otherwise, I would also go for a draw. I wouldn't put anyone off that. I don't think this is going to be a very fun match to watch. So I'm definitely going for under two and a half. Um, so, and also there's a, another thing to say, you know, in six of the last eight matches, Empoli haven't scored. You know, Nick has oh, no. mentioned that. So, it, and, and in many of their matches, it's been under two and a half. So you know that this is a very hard working team. So I would, I wouldn't go for a, a goal fest in this at all. Okay. Well, uh, I am. Uh, Frozenoni, I think, will push. Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, I'm going basically... Oh, so is, uh, so is Burroughs. So is Oaks. Oaks, you'll see him on La Liga in a while. He's obviously just warming up, but we're already in tune. Because I'm going with both teams to score and over. At plus money, I think Frozenoni will score. And I think they will push the limits. And, the, and the, what it's done for me is that at plus money, I don't care who wins. I mean, I actually think that Empoli will win 2-1 maybe even 3-1, because Frosinone can throw everything out the window that's gone on away from Rome and just basically concentrate on the running. Uh, and Empoli, we know, they're neat and tidy. Frosinone, I know they kept a clean sheet last week, but they kept a clean mm. sheet against the worst side known since, I don't know, some sides maybe three or four years ago, which is the worst side in Serie A. Um, <laughs> Okay. There's themselves Let's... a few years ago. Um, yeah, exactly, yeah. Do you really... Okay, I understand if you think it could be Empoli 4-0 or 3-0. No, you think no, Frosinone... I think Empoli 2-1. Emp you... yeah, Frosinone scored three last week, didn't they? Yeah, yeah but they were at home. It's different it doesn't when they're matter. It's goals. Goals. The goals don't move. But that's what I'm saying. They've got to take that okay. mentality and the experiences they've had so far this season, throw them in the bin and make this a three or four game uh, season. Uh, and by the way, going to Empoli, they might even win the game. I would fancy Empoli are the favourites. I'd fancy if I had to pick one of the sides to win it, it would be the home side. I think 2-1 is a good start here. And it could be 2-1 at half time. And I've cashed and I don't care. And I flick on to another game. Uh, let's have a little look at the official picks. Uh, Empoli, minus 0 0.25 at plus 110. Meaning if it's a draw, you only lose half your bet. Uh, both teams scoring over 2.5 at plus 120 for myself.